special presentation live from Studio 103. This is the Cathedral Votes 2014, the presidential election. Here's your host, Sheridan Dorty. Hello and welcome to Cathedral Votes 2014, the presidential election. I'm Sheridan Doherty. New this year, all seven high schools in our board were asked to elect a president for September by today. We are here today to allow you to hear the ideas of candidates running for the position of president. Candidates will present short speeches outlining their ideas and introducing themselves to the student body. At the end of May, students who wish to put their names forward for all other positions on the student council can do so. More information on that will be on CHS TV News in the coming weeks. The job of the president is to ensure the successful functioning of the student council in all its activities. Represent with pride and dignity the students of Cathedral at all public appearances and to ultimately provide a model of leadership. They must democratically designate specific duties to those who can best undertake them. They are responsible for informing the administration of all activities and they are responsible for the representation of Cathedral at the Catholic High School President's Council and the Hamilton Citywide President's Council. Your 2014 2015 candidates for the role of president are Stephen Mater and Monica Sadek. First, we will hear from Stephen Mater. Uh, hey, Gales. So as you guys know, I'm running for president, or at least I hope you do, or I'm probably not going to do that well. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Stephen. I'm six feet tall. Tall. That was weird. And, and I love long walks on the beach. As most of you know, I've been on council for the past two years as junior rep and vice president, so I know what it'll take to be president, and in fact, I've already acted as president throughout the year when Miranda wasn't here. Now, this might be a little mushy and lame, but being president of something is something I've wanted to do since grade nine, because I, when I first saw it, I thought it would be a cool thing to do. But over the past few years, I've realized that it's more than just a cool thing. You have a chance to make a huge impact on your school. I want to help make our school even better than it already is. I want kids from other schools to wish they went to Cathedral because of how great it is. Now, I can't make any huge promises, but I can promise to do my best for you guys. Uh, if you decide to elect me as president, I'll be very honored. So enough of the serious stuff, but I hope that next year can be pretty fun, and it'll be a good year, but it's all up for you guys to vote, Stephen. Thanks. Thanks, Stephen. And now we'll hear from Monica Sadek. You and I. Whether you know it or not, we have something in common. It's not our favorite vegetable, and it's not the shampoo we use. It's that we both go to the most amazing school. We get to come to a school where we're welcomed, appreciated, and respected. And don't get me wrong, I think that's amazing. But I also think we can make it even better. How about some school bonfires during football season? Or karaoke night in the forum? How about sumo wrestling competitions? Because why not? We have an awesome school awesome spirit and awesome students for once let's take advantage of the opportunity don't you want to be the school that other schools are jealous of don't you want to graduate saying high school was the best time of your life someone once told me a leader leads by serving others so let me serve you let's take all of us as an example for a minute some of us love joining clubs some of us are good in academics and for some of us sports are a thing well Council's my thing. It's what I'm good at. I'm good at taking on a lot. I'm good at listening to people. I'm good at working hard to make people happy. It's time for change. It's time for everyone's voice and opinion to matter. It's time to vote Monica. Working together, we can only get better. Thanks, guys. Vote Monica. Thanks, Monica. Now that speeches are done, it is your time to vote. In a moment, a student from each class will be asked to go to the main office to pick up the ballots and a class list. Students' names that are crossed out on this class list do not get a ballot, either because they are not returning to Cathedral in September or because they have not yet registered and paid their $40 activity fee for September. Teachers, please ensure that this is a secret ballot. Students, remember you are only making one vote, a vote for the person you'd like to see as president in September. If you'd like to vote for Stephen Mater, you will fill in the number 5 bubble. If you would like to vote for Monica Sadek, you will fill in the number 10 bubble. Students must only use pencil on the ballot scantron sheets. If students place marks incorrectly, their ballot will be considered void. After voting, the ballots are to be collected by the teacher and they are to be returned to the main office as soon as possible in a sealed envelope. Teachers are also asked to sign the seal before sending the ballots back to the main office. 
Students in morning co-op and those without a period one class can vote in the main office until 12 o'clock p.m. After all ballots are collected, they will be counted and candidates will be called down to the chapel as, the result, as soon as the results are tabulated. Then we will broadcast the election result live at the end of fifth period today. Student council elections really do have an impact on your next school year. Your vote should not go to who you think is most popular, but to who you think will do the best job and who will make the most positive influence on your school year. The democratic process is a very serious one and we are blessed to live in a society where we can choose our government. With that being said, each teacher is now asked to send a runner to the main office to pick up your class ballots. Good luck to the candidates and thanks for watching.